everybody be cool. You be cool. Two of America's most dangerous criminals have taken hostages. What is this? It's called a punch. I'm going to ask you one question, and all I want is a yes or no answer. Do you want to live through this? Yes. OK, Ramblers, let's get rambling. One night is all that stands between them and freedom. This is my kind of place. But it's going to be one hell of a night. Welcome to slavery. No, thanks. I already had a wife. From dusk till dawn. All right, y'all. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the 1996 classic vampire flick, from Dust Till Dawn, directed by Robert Rodriguez and written by Quentin Tarantino. So ain't nothing to it, but to do it. Right off the bat, I've seen this film a million times and it never gets old. This has my favorite George Clooney performance of all time, playing Seth Gecko. I think he's extremely charismatic with this role, um, the snarky dialogue, the scumbag vibe. He's not necessarily a great guy, but he's still very likable. So again, my favorite Clooney performance. Now, I don't think Tarantino is necessarily the strongest actor, but I think he does a good job playing Richie in this film. Very creepy what he brings to the role. He's a rapist. He's a murderer. Definitely way less likable than his brother, Seth. I mean, there's even a crazy scene near the beginning of the film where even Seth is saying, hey, you're going way too far. These two brothers are outlaws on the run. We start off the film with them annihilating a gas station and setting the clerk on fire, played by John Hawks, who's a great actor. And eventually, the two brothers kidnap a family, force them to drive their RV to Mexico, and hide out in this bar called the Titty Twister. And this is where the vampires pop off. We have some nice tension and buildup with the family, and the vampires going on before the vampires are revealed. Um, we have a very memorable scene with Salma Hayek that's very, that's very well talked about, um, rightfully so. There is a very weird instance where Salma Hayek puts her foot in Tarantino's mouth. And Tarantino wrote it, so we all know he wanted that shit to go down. This is the very, very, very rare instance where I will say I don't blame him. Before I continue, I got to mention the actors playing the family. We have the great Harvey Keitel playing the father, Jacob. And from what I remember, he plays an ex-priest who lost his faith in God, but later on in the film starts to pick it back up again. We have Juliette Lewis playing the young daughter, Kate. And we have a more unknown actor, Ernest Liu, playing the son, Scott. Now, moving back to the Titty Twister setting, we have some veteran actors and very memorable characters. We have the great Fred Williamson playing a badass guy named Frost. We have Tom Savini playing a guy named Sex Machine. Come to think of it, Cheech actually plays three different roles in his film. He plays one of the vampires in the Titty Twister. He plays the border guard that stops him in Mexico before they enter. And I think he plays the guy Carlos at the end of the film that meets up with George Clooney. Danny Trejo plays the bartender. And it's always cool to see Danny pop up because I think he's a bit underrated. Despite being in like almost every movie on this planet, he pops up quite often. But I feel he doesn't get his flowers on his acting side. So it's always cool to see him pop up. He's a Robert Rodriguez regular. Um, he's been in almost almost every Robert Rodriguez film that you can think of. And of course, he's Machete. He went on, he went on to be the leading man finally with Machete. And I do want to shout out the makeup practical effects team behind this film because I thought they did a wonderful job. Um, this movie's super gory when it pops off. You have limbs exploding. There's one cool instance where the band that's playing in a titty twister is playing like on torsos instead of guitars, like very grotesque imagery. The vampires look fantastic, very brutal, very nasty to look at. There's even some deleted footage on the special features on the um, DVD or Blu-ray, whichever one you have. There's some cool deleted scenes um, of some creature designs that were left out of the film that I wish they left in because specifically one, there's one very nasty vampire with, um, there's like a face in her stomach. It opens up and it eats this fucking guy's head and, and pushes in her stomach. It's so gross, but, but yeah, I wish that was left in the film. Sorry for the racing drivers at 
two in the morning, three blocks down my fucking crib. But again, another shout out to the makeup practical effects team. Fantastic job, 10 out of 10 work on the gore. But overall, I love From Dust Till Dawn. Seen it a million times, never gets old. The replay value is insane. Uh, great job from Robert Rodriguez. One of my favorite directors when he's in his bag. He has some misses, but this is arguably his best film ever. Um, besides Desperado, I like Once Upon a Time in Mexico, despite some people not liking it. But, um, and a great screenplay from Quentin Tarantino. I wish that Tarantino got to tackle horror just a bit more. Death Proof, I don't really count as a horror film. I think of it more as like a very creepy thriller. But um, I wanted him, I, I would like Tarantino to tackle more so vampires, zombies, supernatural, phenomenal, whichever. I, I, I think he worked very well writing this film. We have a great supporting cast of veteran actors, notably for me, Fred Williamson, and the great Harvey Keitel, of course. But moving on to my personal fro rating, I'm going to give From Dust Till Dawn a solid 10 out of 10. Again, replay value, 100% awesome. Love this movie. Check this movie out if you've never seen it. I highly recommend this one. And um, super classic. Hope you enjoyed the review. Um, if you like this movie, comment below. If you didn't like it, comment below. It's all love at the end of the day. So uh, what, if you would like me to review another film, uh, leave a comment as well, and I'll do my best to get to it. I got a lot piled up, but in the meantime, between time, thank you for watching. Subscribe for more. Peace, fro.